Hi, welcome back. Today I will be installing Isaac. No, this is not Isaac Frank House. So I'll name it. This is Perry Pastorns, both from Terul.net. Link in the description, of course. And I will be installing it on my TV with Tarantula, of course. You will get the in depth view how I installed mine. And I will. I will link all of the models that you see on my printer down in the description if you want to do them yourself. First, you want to take off all thumb screws. There are four of them, of course. The bed one, screw, screw. One in each corner. One, two, three, four. I have some painter's tape on top. Yes, in order to make a nicer print surface. So it sticks. I hate to re-level the bed, but I'll have to do it after this. I won't be shocked if I'm actually screwing the screw back now. Because I have no idea which direction I should be doing. I think this one. Then you want to lift up the bed carefully. Then put it over here. Take a normal one and put it on the head and light it off. Be careful so you don't uh, destroy the belt because then you probably will have a problem if you don't have a load of the belt. I've, cl I've cut off mine a bit so it's not recommended for me. As for that, it is. Like that. Then you want to unscrew it like this. If you put them together in order to keep the way it works. Then you want to put Mask here. I've heard that these will be a real tight fit, so you might need a hammer. I'm almost positive to get a hammer. Wait, you could probably use this one and push it down here. Yes, so don't destroy the wheel. If you take it, then there we go. One popped in. No, it didn't. Okay, if you have it like this and you have problems, just take this one and. Okay, let's just get a hammer. You will just take a hammer and put something over, then smack on it. And I'll do it for both of you and I will be back. So guys, I just got these two hammered in. 
Now let's see if these will be able to twist easily. Yes, they will. Great. Now we want to take the wheel, put it through the clamping nut, turn it upside down. I have no idea if you should. I think you should probably get some space. Just use a spacer because I told you to. If I'm totally wrong, please correct me in the comments. I'm only 16. Or almost. Let's put a little bit. Squeeze. Wash it. Nice. I'll put them all on and then I will tighten them. That's why I'm not doing that right now. So don't come up, please. Take another one. Move. Move. Insert. Washer. And take that. Take that one. Remove. Remove. Boom. These are real tight fit because this is this is more professional than the, the ones that acrylic key will send you. So you might have a pretty tight fit. So don't be scared to over tighten because this is aluminium. I think this one is one millimeters in thickness. Over. You will be able to feel when you shouldn't tighten it anymore. It would be pretty hard to do it by then. As you see now, it's perfect. I can't even move it like this. If you have one, push it to the front. This process should be pretty much the same if using the standard ones. Just line up the T-nuts. This will be the hardest part, in my opinion. Now you have to play around, fiddle around a bit. If you're lucky, you might get it on first attempt, but in my scenario, it's never worked on first attempt. Be sure to that they are pretty much perfectly aligned, like that. And if they are perfect, they should just like that. Let me just move that one back. They want to push it in a bit. Then you want to take your Allen wrench and then just tighten it up. Because I don't want to um, get a screw driver, I'll just use this one. I also am positive that this belt will be easy to install on this carriage. That's good. Now you just want to take a zip tie, place it in. Your zip tie might look different, but I think you know how to put in a zip tie. And then just line it up. Put one as close as possible. And you want to have the tooth on tooth inside. 
just in order to make sure you have the best grip. And for the sake of your OCD, you might want to get them on the same side. So do you think I will go for 6? Just because I'm not... Try to get it as stiff as possible before putting the supplies. Always get rid of the axis one. So it doesn't melt on the bed. Probably it shouldn't melt on the bed, but you never know. Right now, yes, make sure. 